welcome to another craft session with me, Bev, from Inkwell. Um, today I have been thinking lots about how cold it's getting outside. My bones and my muscles have started to hurt a bit. Um, so, I've been thinking about heat pads, heat packs, things that you can put in the microwave. Um, things that actually don't really cost much to make as long as you've got some scraps of fabric around. Um, also some rice from your cupboard. Maybe a few sprinkles of essential oils. Um, so, you are going to need some scraps of fabric. Um, these are some bits of eco-dyed fabric that I made previously. Um, you can check out my eco-dyeing videos um, online. Um, you are also going to need some lovely soft fabric that you don't mind touching your skin. Um, this is flannel cotton, um, a brushed cotton, so it's nice and soft. Also you're going to need then some thread and a sewing machine um, and then um, some little needles just to tack your work with. Um, I will post the measurements alongside this video so you know what size you need to cut your bits of fabric um, to. Um, then you're going to need some rice or some dried beans. Um, sort of the smaller beans work better if you are going to use the beans. Um, a word of advice try and use cotton fabric if you can as well as cotton thread and um, polyester and synthetic fibers don't tend to bode very well in the microwave um, and they may melt a little bit which is not what you want and um, you want something lovely that's going to keep you warm through the winter time and help your muscles stop aching <laughs> okay so without further ado Let's start making the heat pads. I like my heat packs to be long. Um, that way, if you want, you can fold them up. Um, but if you need them a bit longer, say to wrap them around your neck, um, then you have that flexibility with them. One thing that I have found with those heat packs, though, is that all the beans or the rice or whatever's inside can sort of fall down to one end and then you end up with the heated area and um, somewhere that you don't want it to be so these heat packs are going to be long but they're going to have sections sewn into them um, with equally measured um, amounts of, of beans or rice in them then um, so the measurements then that you are looking at um, should be I'm using inches here, so this is 19 inch or 48 centimetres, sort of thereabout. Um, and then you're going to measure that by 6 inches or 15 centimetres thereabouts. Um, so once you've measured that, cut it out. Um, this is with the flannel in, um, and then I'm going to do the same then with the other fabric that I've got as well. So the flannel in ideally is going to be the area then that um um is on your skin and the other side then ideally is just sort of your fancy kind of side so once you've cut two bits of fabric um you'll need to iron them and make sure they're flat so once you've ironed your bits of fabric um, you need to make sure that the what you want to be the outside is facing inside, inwards. Marry those two bits of fabric up and then just pin it together. Now this end here you're going to have to leave an opening because that's where you're going to pour your rice into. Um, Sometimes I forget about things like this, as I'm sure other people do. So what I'm going to do is just put some pins in there that are crisscrossed. 
And then that usually reminds me then that I shouldn't be sewing over that area. Um, and then you need to sew the two pieces of fabric together. I'm going to use my sewing machine here. You can hand stitch if you want. Um, you're going to sew about a centimetre from the edge then all the way around apart from this area at this end which is where you're going to be pouring the rice into. So I have sewn my seams down the sides. I'm just going to show you here as well. I'll show you on this side because you probably see it a bit easier. I have sewn sort of an inch or two into this end where I've left my hole to pour the rice into. Um, also, what you'll need to do is just cut the corners off diagonally here. In doing that, you'll make sure that once you turn it all the right way, your corners will look nice and neat. So I'm just going to snip those corners off. Just make sure you're not snipping into your seam that you've just sewn. So we're the right way around, and then you want to pour your beans and rice in. But we're going to do this in sections, because what we're going to do is pour a bit in, sew down the middle, pour a bit more in, sew again, pour a bit more in, sew again. Um, this just helps then the um, beans or the rice or whatever it is you've got in here not to sort of slip down to each side of the heat pad um, and um, then you'll have sort of a consistent warmth throughout when you're using it. I am going to divide this up into four and a half inch sections um, you will be looking at if you're doing it in centimetres 11 and a half um, centimetres. And then once you've got your lines marked then you need to measure out um, about a, a cup um, a cup's worth of rice. You don't want each pocket to be totally stuffed with rice but you do want a good amount in there. Um, the rice needs to come about an inch before the line um, and then you make sure it's not packed too tight but that you've got enough in there to heat up. Um, and then like I say, what you want to do then is sew your line down. So make sure all the rice is shook to the bottom of the bag um, and, um, and then sew your first pocket in. So that's the first pocket sewn. The rice can't get out of that pocket. And then you want to continue that then for the next three pockets. And then I'll show you how to finish up the end. Okay, so I filled up three sections. I'm on the last section now. Um, so I'm just going to pour the rice in to the last section. Um, and what you'll need to do is just tuck the fabric in get all those loose ends in there as well and you'll need to get hold of your pins again um, and just pin across that edge And then you just need to sew then down that side that you've just put together. So once you've sealed up your edge nice and neat, as close as you can get to the edge, make sure that you've caught both sides. And um, then you just need to cut off, tie and cut off all your loose ends. 
and then your pack's ready to go. Um, I usually just sprinkle a few drops of essential oils then onto the pack before I put it in the microwave and then all those lovely fragrances come out. Okay, so there we have it. A lovely heat pack. Um, wrap it around your neck or pop it on your belly or fold it around your arm. However you want to. Nice, simple sewing pattern. These are really good ideas to make for um, gifts as well. So if you're starting to uh, build up a bank of um, gifts that you're going to give at Christmas time, these are these are a really easy, um, lovely gift to give to somebody. So we will see you again next week. Thanks again for joining us today. Take care of yourselves until then. Um, and enjoy your heat packs. Alright guys, bye.